one of these fishies got eaten today. You can see the eel under. Good morning everyone. I'm walking really slowly because my shoes slipped and it was pouring before but now it has stopped thank goodness because it was raining really hard um, so the fishies I just showed you there's an eel that I also showed you the eel was hungry and it ate one of the yellow fishes so sad it breaks my heart to see the poor little fish die like it was he ate the fish sideways so the fish was like sticking out the sides of his belly so sad so yesterday we were going to start playing Ken Ken, but then I went to sleep while Priscilla was reading the instructions. So here is my first attempt at Ken Ken. We'll see how I do. I figured it out. So here's the answer. I'm going to check it in the back, but... Anybody need a bunny jelly bean pooper? <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's like going to the grocery store with these people. Then look at me. It says place to grow on your forehead and smile. And now I go for this. It says I love your heart. And look at my. Oh. We're gonna have a party pickle. Party pickle. Look at those. They have dulce leche. Look at those. These have cream cheese, those have ham and cheese. I'm hoping they cook soon. So they're taking a little bit to pop up. Beautiful. So there's this cruise that starts next year that goes to Europe and we really want to go. So I'm telling Priscilla, let's do it. And she is wimping out on me. Wimping out. She tells me we can totally do it. And then she wimps out. So it's like 11 o'clock. And we're going to CVS to go put in some prescriptions for Priscilla's mom. Yeah. You know. Putting in a prescription at 11 o'clock at night. At midnight. Oh, it's gonna be midnight. Midnight. My goodness. Ah, come on, seatbelt. It's because you're so fat. <laughs> what is that? Oh, look at Blackie. Wait. Over there. No, oh, wait. I don't see him. He's. Oh, I see him. The bunny rabbit's out. Look, look. Yes, I see him. He's so cute. Ooh. So how was you guys' day? I was fantastic. What are you guys doing for Easter? Nothing. Nothing? I have to go to work. Oh my goodness. I have to I have to tell you guys what happened to me at work. So I'm not a very religious person. I don't I don't go to church. I'm just not very religious. And this lady at my job, every time when I'm like, hey, how are you? And she's like, good, thanks to God. So from there, I noticed that she was religious. And then today, she comes with one of those little papers that sometimes people are giving out. And she's like, here, have one so you can come to Mass on Tuesday. And I just was like, okay. Because I didn't want to be mean and like disrespect her and tell her that I'd Cause then I don't I don't want her to gang up on me either and try to like preach to me. Um so I tell her, oh okay, and then she comes back a little later and she's like, So I'll see you Tuesday. I was like, Alright. Obviously I'm not going. But that was a little awkward. Why do people feel like they need to push their religion onto others? That's just I don't I don't think if you believe in something that's fine. Okay. You can explain to people why you believe in something, but you shouldn't push your religion onto other people. She didn't she wasn't doing it in a mean way or anything, but 
you know, it's so uncomfortable because I'm not religious and she's kind of like pushing me to go and I feel uncomfortable telling her like, hey, I'm not going to go and I'm not religious and that's it. End the story. <laughs> because she's a very nice lady. But yeah. Has that ever happened to you guys? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's happened to you. At work with the Haitians. The Haitians are are very religious. Yes, they go to church every Sunday. Every Sunday they go to church. Sometimes they even go during the week. Yeah, I can do that. And I was like, nope, I don't believe in anything. They're like, but why? You should believe. I'm like, no, nope. and I'm fine. And then they hate it because I'm always like, oh God. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I'm like, Thank you, Jesus. I'm done today. And they always look at me, and I'm like, to me, saying that is like saying, like, like nothing. You know, yeah. it doesn't mean anything to me. It's just like a saying, even though you shouldn't say it. Right. Like I say, um, like when something good happens to me, I go like, thank God. And then I'm like, wait, I shouldn't say that because. I don't believe in that. Um, so then I try to find something different to say that has the same like excitement and connotation. I can't find it. <laughs> like yay, just doesn't cut it. <laughs> so yeah. So excuse me, Mr. CBS. Are there any like phrases that you guys say that don't belong to your religion or that maybe you shouldn't be saying but you say anyways? Let me know in the comments. Red the paper? CBS. Yes.